Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, I look at the <clears throat> malware analysis fundamentals on Let's Defend, and I've already completed this course. But since I've completed it, they have practice SOC alerts right here, and so I figured I'll do one of these and do a, a walkthrough, a little narration, and track my own progress also. And see, I have it here. And let's see, malware detected, event ID 14, level security analyst, source address, source host name, John Computer, file name, so John executed this file. This is a file hash, file size, it was allowed. And here is for me to download it. So I'm going to download it. I will download it to downloads. Press file. Um, password needed. And they give you the password right there is infected. I recommend nobody. Maybe dangerous. Hey, but that's fine. Download it. Did it download it? All right, download it. We're good to go. All right. So, I guess right off the bat, I could just open log management because I imagine I'm going to have to use that. And endpoint security because of John's computer right there. But um, since I downloaded that file with that hash, I could open up any run as you can see i already had one going in the background from doing the fundamentals of malware so let me do it with this one that i recently downloaded where it downloads here it is open i'm gonna do it with the older operating system i noticed when i use windows 10 the first time doing this um, it had different results so I'm gonna go with Windows 7 duration 60 seconds all right let's run a public analysis and as we wait for that to go because we have a minute I guess I'll go to the endpoint let us see endpoint security so I can check on John computer there see what he's been up to there you are John okay processes no paddocks new no md5 so right now I'm looking to see if the hash will match with and this one's google update and it matches um, from here you can press virus total it'll open up and this one looks pretty clean from virus total but we'll also wait on the analysis from any run which From this one, uh, just one drops executable file immediately after the start. Uh, let's see, no threats detected at least. No threats connections. Microsoft. I'm just gonna look through these just to make sure there's no. no uh, passwords and no authentication going on in here um, this right here check support of languages reads the computer name menu execution by user seems pretty okay okay well that one looks pretty okay to me but we shall see. Uh, 
Okay, let's check the log management to see if anything else went on with those Johnny Boys IP address. And paste that boy right there. October 29th, what was the date? What was the time? September 15th, 2020. Probably should have checked that first. Gonna do that next time. September 15th, uh, there's nothing for September. All he's really been doing is on GitHub with old Sigma. Sigma got issues. And sending emails to Susie. And that's about it. So everything else looks fine. Okay, so I got decent amount of information so far. Virus total. That's actually a different hash. Is that supposed to be like that? Let's try it. Okay, yes, I guess so. Somebody explain that to me in the comments, because that I'm not sure as to why it does that, but I know now, so let us proceed with creating a case and continue. Start that playbook. Uh threat indicator. I know we're expecting outgoing internet traffic, antivirus programs malfunctioning. It's definitely not that unknown or expected services applications configured to launch automatically on I didn't mean to press that on system boot. What well, drops I use if I immediately after start? Um it's suspicious, but it doesn't seem like it's Any of those Google update bin static discovery. Let's see what this says. Mm. Let's to analyze. Um, where is the report? Let me see here. So, verdict no threats detected, no, no malicious behavior. A little suspicious that it wants to drop, but. There's nothing malicious in there, so as far as I can tell right now, it's just an actual update for Google. Zero malicious processes. Okay, those are the files, or those module images. And modification events. Those are the files right there. I messed that up. Don't get mad at me, please. <laughs> okay. Well, based on that, I'm going to say threat indicator. What was investigation? It's just malware detected. Okay, we're going to go with unknown or expected outgoing internet traffic. It is outgoing. Any virus programs? No. Unknown or unexpected services and applications configured to launch automatically on system boot. And is that exactly what it's doing? Yes, it is. So I guess we'll go with that one. Next, check if malware is quarantined or cleaned from what I saw in the endpoint. It was not. John is still good. There was nothing even on the log management. Um, let me see if this is also. No. Network action, nothing, terminal history, nothing really, browser history, they're going to look right here, he is actually trying to how to update Chrome, so, since I see that, it seems like he was just trying to update it, downloaded it, and executed it, so this is just, 
a normal update file to my untrained slash trained in the training in the mix eyes check the malware is quarantined slash cleaned not quarantined analyze malware third party tool i did that it came out non-malicious value okay so i guess now we can add the artifacts i will add do i need to add him I don't know if you should add that, but I'm going to add him just so they can keep an eye on him because he's out here downloading things that he probably shouldn't be, which is that Shadow IT. He could have downloaded a malicious file on accident, but he's lucky he didn't. I will just put... Oh, that's, that's gross. Source IP. Um, let's add the hash for. Oh, oh, oh. The file. Page that boy. Okay. And. What should I put? I'm going to take in hash the file. Mm, I'll just put file hash, I guess. And what else can I put in here? URL sender. Well. Let's see, is that a URL? It's a file name. Can't put a file name in here. Um, no, I guess not. I'll just remove this one for now. And go ahead. Analyst no. Please enter your and I almost said that wrong. Please enter your analysis comments. So I guess, um, after further investigation, the file non malicious file. Yes, yeah, yeah, we see. Let's figure out the better wording. The let's go with malware detected. Malware detected was a non malicious file. I'll put update file for Google. And uh, executed. John Computer. I'm not gonna take the event date and time. Working in my actual job, it's physical security. Even though I'm trying to get in cyber, it's uh, better to add everything in there, as they say, to CYA. Yeah, if you know what that means, you know what it means. But I was downloaded by what's his name? Sorry, John Computer, yeah. Uh, download my John Computer. Oh my gosh. Okay. Finish playbook, confirm. Complete the playbook. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this alert. Uh, it was a false positive um, file it was not malicious close that alert boom 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 look at that I'm not gonna lie that one was kind of easy um, maybe next time 
I'll do one of the other ones and it'll give you a more challenging one. Uh, I know that right now it's just the fundamentals of malware, so it even said during the lesson that it's not going to be full force because this malware detection is actually a pretty complicated and complex thing that higher ranking SLCs typically handle, I guess. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, that one was kind of easy, kind of fun. I like doing these things. I like investigating. I think it's really fun. And if you have any recommendations on what else I should be doing, any concerns about things I am be doing, any notes, I'm always open to take any advice or anything. Uh, and be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope that you enjoyed the video.